Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you this turquoise glam sparkly eye makeup look. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do this as well. I use this palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, which is the Lure palette. Such a gorgeous one. I've used it a few times on my channel already. And I'm gonna start with the color 332 meters. <laughs> I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, but I did already prime my eyelids and use the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And now I'm going to make a line with a very tiny brush. This one is from Suiva Cosmetics. It's the tiniest brush that they have. And I'm going to drag a line and I'm, as you can see, I'm kind of dragging it quite high towards my brow. This will give the appearance that I have more like a wider eyelid, if that makes sense. I'm not sure how you call it, like a deep set crease, something like that. I know some people actually have and shaped crease like this, which I'm so jealous of because it's so pretty to do makeup on. I don't have it, but you can kind of mimic the effect that you do have it. So just try to create that line and then you want to smudge it out using a lighter color. And then after this, you want to intensify it and go back in with that previous color to make it more darker. But just take your time with this. Um, I like to just kind of keep it slow like I always do. I really take my time with the blending and now I'm going back in with the darker color that I used at the beginning. And I'm just going to slowly kind of just make it more darker. Um, so I'm just blending it on the same place where I just applied the previous color. And I think I've done a similar, actually a few times, like a similar video where I create this kind of shaped eye look and you guys really seem to like it. So I'm going to try if I can find the other ones because I have so many videos on my channel, um, but I will try to um, link a few of them in the description bar in case you want to see the other ones as well. I also, I believe I have one with like really beautiful brown golden shades. It's one of my favorite looks I've ever filmed. Um, so I will make sure to find it and link it in the description bar. So now I used a white color from my palette that I created together with Sigma Beauty. Um, and I used the white color Cottage for underneath the brow. Just because I felt like something was missing and it just makes the transition from the crease towards the brow just look better. And now I'm going to go back in with that color that I used all the way at the beginning and now also blending it along the lash line. And this is kind of going to create that V-shaped um, crease area. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how it's called, but you know, if you would like bend your head to the left, it will look like the letter V, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just going to kind of connect it with the eyeshadows in the crease and I'm just continuing to blend, blend, blend. Again, going back in with that first color that I used, but this time using a tinier brush and just a little bit more on my brush. So this way it looks a more darker because previously I used it really light handed, not too much on my brush. So it, the color is also going to be lighter, but this time I wanted to create more of like a shadow. So I used more and a more precise brush. Then I used a little bit of concealer on a tiny kind of like a pencil blending brush. I'm going to use this over the eyelid on all the places where I don't have any eyeshadow yet, just to create like a kind of like a nice lighter base. And this will also help to make the line look a little bit more divine. Um, so after that, I decided to also go in with the color Black Sea from that same palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics and also use a little bit of that in my crease. I just felt like it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. So I also blend a little bit of this in my crease, but just a very tiny amount applied on my brush, not too much. Um, so it's still easy to blend out and make it softer again. Um, if you go in with too much, you know, it's harder to blend it out and fix your mistake. So just apply a very tiny amount. You can kind of tap off the excess and then I continued with the eyelid and I also used a little bit of the white eyeshadow that I used underneath the brow from my Sigma palette and used that for the inner corner of the eye just to make it more bright. For the eyelid, I'm going to use such a beautiful pigment from Inglot, which is this one right here. I think I used it before on my channel and it's just so beautiful. It's the pure AMC pigment, if I'm, not, if I'm saying that correctly. But these are so beautiful. Um, you can apply them like really like softly like I'm doing right now. And it will just add this like very subtle sparkle on the eyelid. But you can also make it wet and this will make it super intense. Um, I didn't make my brush wet. I just applied a few layers. 
um, but this is so beautiful and especially for like bridal makeup oh my god i love it the only downside is that it does have a lot of fallout so you definitely want to do your foundation afterwards or use like an eyeshadow guard like i did so you don't have like all these sparkles laying on your face but it's truly such a beautiful product Inglot has a lot of different colors as well. I own a lot of them myself and I really should use them more often on my channel again because every time I use them, I really like how my eye look looks because it just adds that extra little touch of glam, which I'm obsessed with. So definitely let me know if you want to see more videos where I play with these Inglot pigments. They're just so pretty. So I used that same color that I used all the way at the beginning and I'm going to use this for underneath the lower lash line as well kind of smudging it out. I'm not gonna go all the way to the inner corner. I just want most of the product to be more like at the outer portion underneath the lower lash line to create more like a darkness in that area. Again, going in with the color Cottage from my Sigma palette and using more of that in the inner corner and also dragging it a little bit lower. Um, and I just love how this adds this just kind of brightness in the center, not the center, the inner corner of the eye. I love it. I love using a matte shade for that. Um, and then for my wad line, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nude Pencil. It has a really dark brown side and a nude side, and I love the nude color on this pencil. Super pretty. So using this for the inner corner. And then I went in with the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara, which I absolutely love. And I went in with the Pixie Light Lashes from House of Lashes. Really gorgeous. Love House of Lashes. And just popping them on the lash line. Then here you have the finished result. Um, let me know what you think of this look. I know it's not like your everyday eye look because of the color, but if you have a special occasion, definitely give it a go. It will look so beautiful, especially on brown eyes, on darker skin. It's gonna look so gorgeous. So let me know if you're gonna try it out. Uh, let me know what you wanna see next, and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching, <laughs> bye guys.